Hi everyone, it's Katrina from PCSE again. Today I'm going to show you how to create a pre-visit notification on PCSE Online for a domiciliary site test. So let's go straight to the screen. Here we are. So we go to make a claim, click on GOS6 and create GOS6 PVN. So this will bring up all of the details that you would be used to seeing in a standard um, pre-visit notification template that you would submit um, by the old methodology. So we need a contact name for the practice or for the contractor. So we enter that and we also need a contact email address. And then we need to enter the date of the visit. So this visit um, I'm going to do in um, a few weeks time. And I need to put in the time of the visit. And where I'm going to carry the visit out. So we've got the postcode search again, like we see in the GOS forms. Um, enter the postcode and find the address where we're going to undertake the visit. Um, select the type of premises, so this is um, going to be a visit to a patient in their own house, so it's a residential home, and contact name for is here. So we save that, and then we need to enter the details of the patient or patients that we're going to see um, at this address. So our first patient... And their date of birth. Go. Um, we don't know when the last site test was, um, so we save that patient. Now, if this is a PVN just for this single patient, then I would go to click submit, um, but We've actually got um, two patients to see at the address, so we're going to add another patient. Enter the details for patient number two. Date of birth and Save patients. So now you can see that we've created this PVN for two patients, um, and these are the only patients that we're going to see. So we then are going to click submit, and we get this confirmation message to say the PVN has been submitted, and we're all done. So we can go back and search for um, the PVN. So go back to make a claim to GOS 6 again, but search for an existing PVN this time. Um, and we can retrieve um, the PVN by using different search criteria. But if we put in the notification date, which is the 11th of July, then we should be able to retrieve our PVN here. And we can then see that we have a PVN reference number, which needs to be um, part of the GOS 6 when it's submitted. And you can have a look at the uh, GOS 6 video to find out more information on that. And we also have the ability to um, amend the PVN and um, to cancel it. So we've successfully submitted this. And if anything needs to change before the visit, um, or indeed, if we need to add patients at the time of the visit, then we can come back to this screen. But we can um, move forward and um, be confident that this visit notification has been accepted. We've got our all-important PVN reference. So that's it. That's how easy it is to submit a PVN. You can add um, several patients to the same notification, just as you can um, in the old world of submitting PVNs and um, 
right away, as you saw, you get that all important reference number that you'll need for your GOS 6. If you would like to see any other scenarios that we um, can show you on PCSE Online, or if you have any questions, then please comment on the video. Thanks for watching.